Is this seat taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. <laughs> sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Well, would you mind if I sit here until he or she or it comes? They do seem to be pretty late. You never know who you, uh, might be turning down. Sorry. Nice try, though. Sure thing. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Oh, would you mind if I sit here? Yes, I would. Okay. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Oh, would you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. <laughs> mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's the book? I'd just like to read in quiet, if you don't mind. Oh, no, uh, sure thing. <laughs> Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. So, uh, what's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, uh, the Hemingway. <laughs> so, what's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, uh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I, I haven't read it, actually. I I've sure read about it, though. It's supposed to be great. It is great. I hear it's great. <laughs> Waiter. <laughs> so, what's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? No, I'm more of a Mets fan myself. Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to Oral Roberts University. Where was college? Uh, I was lying. I never really went to college. I just like to party. <laughs> Where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else that he wrote. It's all that psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And the way he's grasped the mystery of time. And human existence? I can't believe I've waited this long to read about him. Uh, you never know. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You might not have been ready for him. You gotta hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I thought, uh, thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. <laughs> yep. Sound and the fury. Well, onwards and upwards. Uh, waiter. So, uh, what's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, uh, Faulkner. Why are you asking why I'm reading this book? Uh, I'm just wondering. <laughs> why are you interested in whether I... why? I don't know, I'm just getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place to listen to some music, or because you've got some great new Django Reinhardt record, when all you really want to do is... Never mind. And then you'll pad into the kitchen and get yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking whether I'd like anything. And then you proceed to sit back next to me, tell me that you've had a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year, and that you've been on and off with her in what you call a very intricate relationship for about seven years. None of which interests me, mister. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. Uh, I come in here quite a bit, but I don't remember seeing you. So we must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. Probably pass each other on the street every day. Right in front of this place, probably. Yep. Well, the waiters here sure seem to be on some different time zone. Can't seem to locate one anywhere. <laughs> oh, waiter! So, do you... I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. Nothing. I guess we must be at different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh. Boyfriend? Sort of. Well, what's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. 
Oh! <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh. Boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? We were meeting here to break up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. Here he comes right now. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Sitting here, reading all by yourself? You think so? I mean, sure. What's a good-looking woman like you doing out here alone on a Friday night? Trying to stay away from lines like that. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Sitting here, reading all by yourself? I guess it is in a way. I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out here alone on a Friday night? No offense, but... <laughs> I'm out alone on a Friday night for the first time in a very long time. Oh. You see, I just recently ended a relationship. Oh. Of a rather long-standing. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, listen. Since sitting here reading by yourself is such a sad occupation for a Friday night, what do you say we, uh, go elsewhere? No. Do something else? <laughs> no, thanks. I was headed to the movies in a little while anyway. Uh, I don't think so. Big chance to let Faulkner catch his breath. All those long sentences can get him pretty winded. <laughs> thanks for asking. Okay. I appreciate the invitation. Mm, sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Sitting here, reading all by yourself. I guess I was just trying to think of it as existential romantic, you know? Cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. Uh, that kind of stuff only happens in Paris. Although, we could catch a late plane to Paris, hop on the Concorde, find a cafe. I'm a little short on plane fare tonight. Mm. Darn it, so am I. So, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks for the offer, but... <laughs> uh-huh. Girlfriend? Uh, Two of them, actually. One of them's pregnant, and Stephanie is just... <laughs> girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Unless you mean that castrating bitch I dumped last night. Girlfriend? Sort of, sort of. <laughs> What's a sort of girlfriend? Um, my mother. <laughs> I actually just ended a relationship. Oh. It's rather long-standing. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. It's my first time out alone in a long time. I... A little bit at sea, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so, you didn't stop to talk to me because you're a Mooney or you have some weird political affiliation? Nope. Straight down the ticket Republican. Straight down the ticket Democrat. Can I tell you something about politics? I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. I'm unaffiliated. That's a relief. So am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important. Exactly. I mean, who cares if I got a two-point, a three-point, a four-point at college? Or if I did come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County. Sure. I believe that a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. I think so too. I mean, who cares if I admire Trotsky? Who cares if I once had a total body liposuction? Who cares if I don't have a belly button? Who cares if I once spent a year in the Peace Corps? I, I was acting on my convictions. Sure. Can't just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. I bet you're a Scorpio. <laughs> so, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? Sounds like fun. What's playing? A couple of really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? No, no, I, I like Woody Allen. <laughs> you're not crazy about Woody Allen? The early ones just kind of get on my nerves. Oh. Listen, I was thinking I was about... Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I, I was just going to say that I was headed to the movies in a little while. So was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just down the street? Do you like the early ones? I think anyone who doesn't ought to be run off the planet. How many times have you seen Bananas? Eight times. Twelve. So, are you interested? Do you like Entenmann's Crumb Cake? I went out at two in the morning last night just to get one. Did you even etch a sketch as a child? Yes. And do you like <laughs> Brussels sprouts? Oh. No, I, I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting. <laughs> Do you believe in marriage, in spite of current sentiments against it? Yes. And children? Three of them. Two girls and a boy. Harvard, Vassar, and Brown. <laughs> and, and will you love me? Yes. And cherish me forever? Yes. Do you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing. Oh, waiter. waiter.